As we begin to round out the warm-up, it's very important that we focus on the qualities of articulation, vertical alignment, and like sound inside of the ensemble when it comes to staccato. Um, so what you're going to hear are five note scales with a little rhythmic articulated pattern at the end of each of the segments. It's very important that each of the ensemble members have a very clear understanding that their job is to match both in uniformity of style but also note length, the quality of the attack, the length of the note, the release, and the tone quality on the inside of that articulation. And then finally just the mechanics of the quick fast air that has to be underneath the um, airstream through the articulation, essentially blowing through the articulation to create clarity and vertical alignment. <laughs> The ensemble did a great job of making sure that their abishers stayed very, very still. They were creating a short and light articulation through fast air, stable abisher, and a light tongue approach. And they were really focused on getting that fast air stream through the instrument with a slight shape once again at the end of the release note. And then they would take a two count breath, reset, and then start that over again. Again, this is lining up all of the fundamentals from earlier on in other things and just extending that into the the realm of articulation. What you end up when a band understands the, the qualities of articulation and how to do them, do them appropriately, you end up with stronger vertical alignment and actually you get a stronger sound because it is unified and it has been defined. So listen for that with your students. Walk around while they play their warm up. Look at their faces and their obitures and really examine and listen to what they're producing and give them solid feedback about adjustments that they should be making. We finally wrap up with a ending articulation exercise where they're having to play against different intervals but still maintaining this light vertical approach. So the stylistic concerns there again are keeping our abisher still, fast air, uh, singular taste bud maybe two, just as light and as quick as we can but really making sure that the airstream is what's providing the support through the articulation. Um, and then there's a slight release at the end going on to the next thing. So, and you'll also notice that this particular exercise is faster. I would put, I would challenge you to push all of your ensembles to speed up their articulation exercises as you go across the semester. So that way there's no stagnation, but also you want growth. Um, you want them to be challenged. You want them to, once they settle into something and do it well, now we move the bar a little bit and allow for their maturity to continue. <laughs> Once again, the key components of that exercise being successful is a stable abisher, uh, fast air, keeping your jaw still no matter what you play, and making sure there's a very light approach with an extreme uh, sense of uh, support through that airstream. You should have also noticed, really, they're, like the woodwinds were barely moving their fingers. Again, strong hand position, very, very key. Trombones were very quick to get out into the slide positions that, uh, that they needed to hit with a good sense of wrist action so they were getting out there and then finally brass valves were right on top of the valves and really making sure that they were changing quickly from note to note. So it's a great exercise for reinforcing those fundamentals but really trying to get after the qualities of articulation and clarity. <laughs>